Saturday. We'll be back. What is that? It's the Saturday intro. I think that's that calls for intro right there. Like that'll do. That's my attempt at being you. Did you like it? Yeah. So not even that late, but I'm feeling a bit manic. Do you want to go first, or shall I? Entertainment with you. Um, yeah, I'll I'll go. Why not? Why not? Why not? So, um, I feel that the channel is becoming un un acceptably um, Lotus Pro at the minute. Yeah. Because I've got some more on Lotus. Because um, I think I really want a Lotus. I just can't afford them. So, yeah, yeah. It, it was quite interesting. Basically, we're saying, obviously, we know that everything's ending lowest in terms of the cars um, and all the new stuff's coming out. And I was reading this article the other day saying about all the, the low What are you doing on all? Always, as always, the cars to inter interrupt it's one video, at least. I've got, my, I've got my hand over the um, power button because he's about to jump on. Jump on me, and I never quite know what he's gonna do. Um, so he's saying about all oh, basically the boss of Lotus is kind of stepping down, um, and he's being replaced with the person who was formerly the director of engineering, which I think is a very Lotus thing. Because yeah, Lotus let's put like, somebody who doesn't have a clue about like Bryce in the company, but yeah, he's yeah. a fucking sick engineer. Yeah, put him in charge. it kind of sounds like a Lotus thing to do. Yeah. And we'll sell the same cars for the next 25 years. I mean, they haven't done bad for awesome. the past 25 yeah. years. The fact is, the cars are going to be awesome, so it'll probably be okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, this, what is it? Um, uh, so basically, yeah, there's been a lot of restructuring on this dude. Um, he's, and the guy's leaving to pursue personal projects, so that probably sounds like he's been told to fuck off. Um, because I don't know, probably a porn star or something, who knows? World's his oyster. Um, and yeah, it was, it was quite, it was more the fact that they're putting an engineer, good social distancing photograph. Um, yeah, so, and it was basically obviously he's coming into a, I suppose, terminal time, but I just thought it is so low to see. Let's put a fucking director of engineering in. in. Instead yeah. of some marketing no. commercial guy, awesome, yeah. love it. Just makes you want an exceed even more. Yeah, let's get saving. Um, yeah, they happen. All right, I'll um show you what I've seen this week then. So, Cosworth are going to buy out the BTCC battery supplier. So that's interesting. Um. Don't really know what that'll mean, but so is it next year they're going hybrid? Is that right? Uh, I don't one? think so. Or is it still? Oh, hang on, no, because BTCC is an FIA, is it? No. The world. I'm thinking, oh, is it world touring's going so unless this is maybe a, a contract drafted up for whatever point? Because obviously, if they're saying the hybrid era there in the opening paragraph. But they've also said about Deltas um, produced a fully electric autonomous. vehicle, so maybe Cosworth are going to... Autonomous. Don't want that shit in racing. Well, we all, we can all remember that um, well, autonomous very, car very crashed video, it into walls. So. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what it'll mean, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. obviously the FIA is pushing electric. Yeah, I'm surprised BTCC hasn't looked at that sort yeah, of thing yet. But, but maybe they're just seeing how it kind of at the world level and filter down. Um, yeah, probably. It's probably take it around the cross, like, next year, Alex Tiri's out, next year's going to be supercars as electric. You say that, well, but it's more BTCC seems to take the leap into the new stuff first, oh, really? historically. 
Mm. So like um, the turbo cars, I remember they were mm -hmm. they were first in BTCC. Um, right. In fact, I'm even sure up to pretty recent, the world timing cars still used like the old stuff, um, mm -hmm. like the um, Chevy Cruze. I'm pretty sure they still used that pretty recently. Um, yeah, it's a two um, litre turbo. No, I don't think it's turbo because that's what Plato won in like years and years and years. No, so I mean. British oh. BTCC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere sure. like that, innit? Yeah. 300 um, like that. So, that's something. I'll be stripped to run it or whatever you want it. Um, Ooh, DTM. Baby. So, this is uh, Red Bull's little livery. That looks, looks awesome. Nice. That looks fucking awesome. Um, so, that's Red Bull's livery. Mm. And then, if we go... We've also got the Alpha Tari livery. Yeah, man. Um, so that's like that's what Albin will be in, right? Um, so yeah, that looks quite nice actually. It does it, it's nice pretty livery. much the um, F1 car livery. Yeah. Just, yeah. Of course, it's just more um, body work for it to go on. Yeah. Ah, that that um, red ball was. Oh, yeah. And then we've got this. So this is Team it's Lazarus. Very, very sort of yeah. One in it. I think we shared this on the Instagram. Um, GT Open. Yeah. And yeah. What's cool as fuck? Yeah, man. Yeah. I love the Bentley being in like GT car because it's such a ridiculously big fucking barge. Yeah, it is. But it shifts well when you build into a race car. It's the reason I always wanted an S-Type Jag race car. I could something like that, but I could afford a Jack because they're worth nothing because they're uh, probably shit. They actually won Bathurst, didn't it, last year? Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah, that's all um, right. That's fucking fair play. And, uh, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm looking forward to a bit of GT this year. Yeah. <laughs> Spread my wings, as I'll it were. i try and watch some. And yeah. then we had, so a few weeks back. Um, yep. Yeah. We had this SCC. Controversial. Oh, SSC to it out. Um, did the world. Got the 316 miles per hour last October yeah. on the Salt Flats, I believe it was. Yeah, man. That sounds about so, right. So, a lot of people were moaning, saying that oh, it wasn't right. That it wasn't yeah, because there was something to do with the, the data once it. They, they fucked up editing or oh, something. Yeah. I don't know what I'm rolling on, but it's something very loud that I'm rolling on. Yeah, be right. Um. So yeah, I don't. So yeah, basically, so we've done it. Out right, we've so done, done it. At, done it at a different place. Yeah, which by the looks of it, isn't a long runway. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a long runway considering what it is, but yeah, it's not going to yeah. be like the salt flats. Yeah. Um. So they did one one run. Get in 279.7 and an average of 282.9. Oh, yeah, and then later they did a 282.9. So they've still so they still officially got the top speed record, then, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So I hit a top speed of 286, I believe. Be nice to see it break that 300. Yeah, the, they had a lot of people there at this one yeah. to make sure it were um, like they had one of the main guys that were pointing the discrepancies on YouTube. Um, the guy in there. That's pretty um, cool. Isn't it? You know, they go, oh, come on, then, let's do it again. And they um, actually didn't have like a professional race driver in this one, so the guy who bought the zero zero one. Dr. Larry Kaplan, he um, went and did it. Fucking legend. And he said that he wants to come back and um, break 300 miles per hour, so what a guy. Good, good laugh. You like Dr. Kaplan. Fair play to Dr. You Larry man, Kaplan. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a nice looking car, isn't it, to be fair? Yeah, I yeah. think. You look at it there. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be blown away by hypercars, but I'm, I say that. With all the GT stuff, like looking a bit more like I'm, I'm becoming more appreciative of supercars. Um, but not on the road. I don't see a fucking point. Well, this guy is commenting about well, why are we awesome. using kilometers an hour? Shut up. Fuck you. Um, I mean, then... we don't need to go down that fucking thing because we use fucking meters and then miles. Yeah, many miles. Not miles per gallon and liters. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've just got a couple of pictures to show. Um, I like it. I like it. Oh, it's the car. old FT86 subreddit. Um, so this is the Hakoni Special Edition. Oh, um, right. Look at that. Race Racing Green and Gold Allies. Um, with better stepping off the offset on the wheels. Uh, well, they're just standard. So oh, no. That's literally why it comes as standard. I don't know. Naughty people. Should have pushed the wheels out a bit further. Probably, but it still looks nice, that colour. It does. It looks fucking gorgeous. Absolutely. Reminds me I need to wash mine, but, you know, bad weather you do. and shit. Yeah, very right. And then I also saw this this little wing. Oh, look at that. that I, uh, I want one. You know what? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a lover of a duck's, duck wing spoiler thingy, my jigger, and I also think the... Uh, be honest, a GT86 would really suit a little duck tail. Yeah, it's so, typical like drift style, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I was looking on the on the beamers, and I'm not putting it on it on my 36 when I actually do anything with it because it's like fucking Manchester in lockdown. I can't get there. Um, just point that out because I'm not, you know, bitter or anything. Yeah. Um, but because that's got the M Sport, uh, because it's a Genuine sport, so it's got all the M sport kit. I'm not going to bother putting any of like the duck clip on, but I might put a roof spoiler on it just to add a little bit of summit. And I've got something for you, I've got something for you, Mr. Andrew. And I appreciated myself last week or the week before when I did a little of yeah. <laughs> Would You Rather. So yes. here we go again. I was having a quick flick through the old what car, and I think I've seen it on somewhere else. Um, because I've seen it on somewhere else, it was a better picture. Can't remember what it was, and then I googled, and this came up, so this was enough. So, would you rather GR Supra or Alpine A110? <sighs> and I'm inter- I know exactly what I'm going to pick, and I'm interested to know what you're going to pick. Um, so, yeah, similar-ish price, um, very different engines. Uh, the one I want reading had some specs on it, which I don't know if it is this one or not. I don't think. What it does is. the Alpine have power-wise compared to? So it's got less power, but it's a hell of a lot lighter. Yeah, I did think that. So the Alpine, da, 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 was, the other article I had was a lot, a lot, a lot better, but. This is what we've got now. Um, so, yeah, you've got the 3 litre straight six in yep. the thing with 1500 kilograms. So it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy? Heavy. Um, the Alpine. Yeah. It is. I don't know, Fair. but it's fucking light for what it is, yeah. man. Very light for what it is. So they were pretty much saying that the. Yeah, so okay, so these got both ended up getting around not sixty and five point one seconds. I think from the actual official specs, the I want to say the Alpine was supposed to be slightly quicker, <laughs> just because of how light it was. Yeah. See, the, the Super That's got a crazy, gigantic that, really. amount more torque than the Alpine. Yeah. So, in terms of you know, if you're going around a track, I would. It's a big fucking weight difference, isn't it? So, you know, yeah. I imagine it's it's going to be a very nimble car to drive. That it's got to be, uh, you know, decent power, light engine. Are they rear wheel drive? Um, drive? 
I'll tell I you in a second. So. I'm looking at spec. I assume that's why they've like matched it against the Supra. So it's 1.8 liter, yeah. four cylinder, 300 so, brake. Yeah. Um. I yeah, rear wheel drive. It, let me let me get a Supra spec up. Yeah, zero to sixty-two. It's saying four point five seconds. Yeah, so obviously they're saying there that they test it and they both hit about 5.1, I think, on that article. Why have I not put specs? specs? Yeah, it's hard to hit the actual 4.5 yeah. seconds, isn't it? Um, so you're looking at... What's this, the GR Super main specs, Japan spec. Fuck it, we'll go with Japan. Well, let's go to the webpage. Let's have a little look. So we're talking about... Displacement. So you got the two liter, you got the three liter. Two hundred and eighty-five kilowatts. So that is in horsepower a lot. I can never remember the conversion rate, but it's a lot. What was that three eight seven? Oh yeah, that's PS. So it's pretty much the same as horsepower, isn't it? I don't know. Fairly, fairly close. Uh, I think that would be a little bit then, more so. Is that 500 foot pounds at all? Or new uh, new meters so it's I'm pretty sure it's got a bag load more torque than the Alpine, yeah. which will make a big difference. I mean, you've got the yeah. 4.3 there, the 5.2 if you're going down the down the four two liter yeah. route, which I can, I can see why they are actually doing that now. But that fucking the way difference for me was the biggest thing. I was like, holy shit. Like you've got yeah. to think. While even with the extra weight, I imagine the super would have a hell of a lot bigger punch, you know, going down the straights because of that torque when you're coming out your corners. Uh, but you got to think when you start hitting the twisties, oof, the alpines um oh, be close, very close. But that doesn't answer the question. I'm what still gonna have to go with alpine, you know. Yeah. Well. Just as, I, as I often hand. say, it's it's nice mm -hmm. to have an opinion, even when you're wrong. Yeah, I knew you were going to go for the Supra. Yes. Yes. I thought, I'm going to have to go for Alpine. It's some um, cute lights that do it for me. I'm, I'm going to share a little summit here with you. I showed the um, Exige Alpine picture to my missus. My missus, lovely person, one of the nicest people. Yeah, I mean, she puts up with me for the day. Yeah, nice people for me. Um, she said some things about you which are unmentionable on YouTube. And I think the word nonce came up on one of them. Why? They look cool. Just saying, Don't get me wrong, the XC just a opinion. gorgeous looking car. Yeah, as she went, that looks like a sports car. That looks like a nonce car. And I was like, fair enough. That, that's fine. Fair enough. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you're wrong about it better than the Supra because the Supra was awesome but no um, I didn't say that oh, do you I'd not? still have no. this yeah the Supra does look nice but I'd still have the Alpine to be fair it's going to be a little different you're going to see more Supras than you're probably going to see Alpines oh yeah exactly and I've already got a very rare car that apparently you can't find parts for anywhere so That's why not yeah. get another yeah yeah, fair enough. That's fair. Um, and then you've got the other car which you use in the snow because yeah. he needs to drive. Yeah. I tell you what, I was good about coming into the works car park. No actual handbrake. You could just push button in it. Just like yeah. coming on a bit of slush. Out, I was like, oh, I've had a fucking handbrake now. We're driving past. I'm driving past Linda on like main road. I just like put my foot down, and start wheel spinning. Oh. Oh, shit. Nobody will understand why that's funny, but trust me, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, well, that's that, I think. Yeah. Wrap it up there. Well, Another 20 yeah. minute video. Yeah, there you go. We're all right, aren't we? That means you've got to watch it all now. Yeah. Even though we're now at the end. So. Yeah. That's a good point. What we should say at the beginning, but we don't. So do all that, you know, subscribe and like and yeah, share. Yeah, you have to do a video and... when people are actually yeah, watching. But... Oh, well. So, Never uh, mind. As I say, you this, know what to do, YouTube you know, watching people. Like I say to you, well, half of this for me is just having a chat with you and going through shit and having a laugh and 
certainly in the current climate, it's very good. Yep. So stay safe, everyone. Yep. Um, look after yourselves. Obviously, I don't know what the weather's going to be like at the weekend. Probably be fine. It's pissed it down and rained out of the snow away. So, yep. yeah, have fun. Enjoy. Hit a subscribe, comment, go to the Instagram. Let us know what you think. Peace yep. out. See you later. Bye-bye.